Hi, my name's Dave Flint and the Head of Departments here at the Department of Radiography, City University London. My name's Jane Morgan and I'm the Programme Director for the BSc Diagnostic Imaging degree course at City University London. Diagnostic imaging involves many different areas of medicine. Radiographers have to actually not just take general x-rays but they also get involved in all sorts of different scanning techniques so they need to look at undertaking MRI scanning, ultrasound, nuclear medicine, CT scanning and this means that you get a variety uh, within your role as a radiographer. I chose to come to City because I really wanted to stay in London. I wanted to be around all the big London hospitals which City works with and uh, City's got a really good reputation which yeah. I learned from talking to other radiographers. Yeah, same. I chose to come to university just because I went along to quite a few um, uh, open days and um, having visited them and having spoken to the student ambassadors for this course here at City University, it was a clear choice for me. I think with diagnostic imaging, the thing that actually appeals to most radiographers is the fact that you are actually looking at the technology side of things as well. It gives a nice balance between learning all the anatomy and things that go wrong with patients, actually finding out what's wrong with patients so that they can actually go on to be treated. Um, but at the same time, you're having to communicate with patients and it requires an awful lot of skills, which I think is very rewarding um, in, in your career as a radiographer. Hi, my name is Kerry Jones and I'm a link lecturer here at City University in Diagnostic Radiography. My role as a link lecturer really involves um, being a liaison uh, between the university and the hospital site that I look after. And we go out regularly, well myself, I go out regularly to visit the students. And I just really act as a mediator to ensure that their uh, experience at the hospital runs smoothly. My link lecturer was great. Uh, she was very supportive throughout the three years of the course. And uh, her reference at the end of the three years obviously helped secure my position at the hospital now. We get loads yeah. of support. Um, if we ever need help after our lectures, we can email them, we can go and see them, we can talk Definitely. to them. Every week we have a tutor come and see us. So we always have that link. The highlight of the Friday when you know your clinical tutor is coming to visit you at your clinical and she you know, discusses how your week's been. Uh, what I find really exciting about uh, diagnostic radiography is that you know, no one day is the same really. Uh, it's not like a job where you kind of have a list of things to do. In diagnostic radiography you walk in the door and you really don't know what's going to face you uh, when you get there. So I think that's really one of the, the things I find the most exciting. Um, and also the different parts of the hospital you get to work in. You're not sort of confined to one department. You get to go to A&E, to operating theatres, um, to all the different wards in the hospital. So it's really quite a varied role and it's quite exciting. You get to work with all the different medical professionals, different teams in lots of different scenarios. It's brilliant support that you get from link lecturers, absolutely yeah. brilliant. What I found really useful is that the lecturers have done um, demonstration videos of all the different projections for us. So if I'm out in clinical and I'm thinking, Oh, I don't know how to do this one. I can just look on web CT and go back exactly through everything. That actually links your theory to your clinical. Yeah. When you study um, radiography at, at City, um, you'll actually have a, a series of things to learn and different methods of learning. We obviously have online learning where you'll have a lot of areas of where you look at videos, things are delivered in different ways by different lecturers, different topics where you learn anatomy, the physics, the communication. But also, we have um, a clinical skills suite where you'll do lots of practical training. Now the good thing about the practical training that we do at City, as opposed to when you're actually out on the clinical placement, is that you're in a very safe learning environment. When I was doing some research about diagnostic radiography and how you actually became a diagnostic radiographer, I got in touch with my local hospital and from the moment I got there, all I ever heard was, any, was positive feedback about City University students. When you complete your degree in radiography, you'll actually come out not just as a radiographer, but also you'll have gained a lot of graduate skills, such as being able to present, uh, work as part of a team, you'll also have good time management skills, which are actually good for any career. We have close links with our clinical providers and we pride ourselves in the quality of education we provide, not only academically, but clinically. 